all right so hey everyone how's it going um today we're going to be learning how to take pictures with motion blur in 5m without extended video export the first thing we need to do is basically record a 10 second clip so we're just going to do that right now we're just going to drive straight for about 8 to 10 seconds doesn't really matter just make sure it's longer than seven seconds and we stop now we go into roster editor we go to create new project if it wants to load there you go new project add clip it's like the clip you just recorded Put the camera wherever you want it to be. So I'm just going to fast forward like four seconds because the first three to four seconds of the watermark on the top left of Rock's editor. So um, I'm going to take the picture from right here. It looks good. Now we're going to select the move the target and the mount type is going to be rigid. So it moves the car. And now we want to put some depth of field. So it focuses more on the car, make sure you select the mode player. And now we want to reduce the speed of the clip down to 5% and drag the last marker all the way up to about 10 total seconds. So there we go. <clears throat> and now we want to, what we want to do is export this video. Um, so just back now, export 60 FPS and then just name the project whatever you want it to be. I'll just name it, I guess, photo. There we go, and export. And I'll meet you guys after I'm done exporting the video. All right, so the video now has been exported. Um, now we, what we're gonna do is open a program called Free Video to JPG Converter. I'll, link, I'll leave a link in the description to download the program. What, what this basically does is a convert videos into images frame by frame so now we want to locate oh wrong folder so now we want to locate our um rock side of her clip that we just made usually it's in c drive update a local rock star games gt5 and then videos um, now we want to select drag and drop the clip right there and make sure you select every frame don't mess with any of the settings and just hit on convert All right, so now the video has done um, exporting and converting as well. Now you want to close this and go into the output folder. Now you want to go into photo and then if you don't have Photoshop, don't worry, I'll tell you how to do it for free as well. Um, you want to search up for a website called photop.com, which is basically like a free online Photoshop. Now you want, what you want to do is click a new project and then change the width and this height to 1920 by 1080p now click on create now you're going to go back to the output folder you want to select about 50 images and you can drag and drop them above the background there there we go and now what you want to do is wait for it to load Right, so now the images have been loaded inside photo p now we will, what we want to do is go up to the very top image so which is 280 at this one um and then hold shift or just press shift one time and then go all the way to the bottom and select the last image it's going to select every single image there is and now you want to right click on this timeline on the right side and convert to smart object all right after you press that the website might freeze for a couple seconds depending upon your pc but if it says page and responsive um, just ignore that and let it do its thing all right so after it's done converting object um you want to go up to layer stack mode and then change the average that's the best one I have found. You could try different ones like maximum, medium, minimum, whatever. 
And there we go, that's the picture um, with the motion blur without any um, extended video export. But yeah, you can now convert, um, I mean, export this image to PNG, JPG, whatever you want from the file section over here. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.